Welcome back. The last day to register to vote here in Florida is February 20th, followed by our primary on March 19th. WPBF 25 News is teaming up with all local supervisors of elections for a voter registration drive. Joining me now is Palm Beach County Supervisor of Elections, Wendy Satori Link. Thank you so much for being here Thank with you. us. Lots of information to get to. So we have a lot of new voters here mm -hmm. in the state of Florida. What do we want to get out to them? What message do we want to get out to them when it comes to registering to vote? Well, if you're, if you're new to Florida, for sure, you want to get that registration in by our book closing, which, as you mentioned already, is February 20th. Uh, and you also, if you're already registered but you want to change your party, then you're going to need to do that by February 20th for this election as well. So it's really important you get out there and do that. You're going to need to have a uh, Florida driver's license or Florida ID, social security number. Uh, so make sure you have that information with you. Now, is that something people can do online? Do they have to go in person? What can we tell them? They can do both. They can do it online. Uh, they can come into one of our offices. They're also on our website. We have a list of a number of other places that they can go, libraries and things. So there, um, we try to make it as easy as possible. Uh, they they can even call us and we will send them a registration form in the mail with a self-addressed stamped envelope to send back. All right, Wendy, let's talk a little bit more about what a closed primary is and what it means for our state. Okay, closed primary means, in, uh, and we are a closed primary state here in Florida. A lot of folks coming from out of their states aren't used to that. So it means you can only vote in the primary for the party in which you're registered. So if, for the presidential preference primary, only Republicans this year will be able to vote for that. However, we do have municipal elections going on, and those are nonpartisan, so everybody can vote if you're in one of the 23 cities that has a municipal election. So what if you're registered as an independent? If you're registered as an independent, independent is actually a party. We also have NPA, which is no party affiliation. You can only re vote then in a municipal election if you have one. You will not be able to vote in the PPP. All right. Any changes to the registration process? Uh, only that you're going to need to you know, get it in, like I said, by the 20th. That's not really a change. Uh, you can call us. You've got to get that registration on paper. You need to have a driver's license or Florida ID or social so that we can get, you know, get that for you, especially if you want vote by mail. If you don't have those, you'll still be able to register to vote, but you'll have, you won't be able to get a vote by mail. Okay. Is there anything that we've missed that we really want to get out to people who, you know, again, are new to our state and, and wanting to register? Well, if they, you know, once you've registered, if you do want a vote by mail ballot, you have to request that every general election now. So if you haven't uh, requested one recently, you need to do that. And you'll have to do that by March 7th for us to mail it to you. All right. Did we miss anything, Wendy? I think that's it. All right. Thank you so much for your time today. And if you want more information, on what we just spoke about and everything that Wendy mentioned, you can head to our website, WPBF.com. We have all that information there, those important dates as well, and you'll be able to watch this interview there as well. And WPBF is teaming up with local supervisors of elections for a voter registration drive. So for more information, you can call the Palm Beach County Supervisors of Election Office. That number is 561 6 Five six six two zero one, or go to their website. Like I said, we put that link on there for you. And we will be holding a phone bank as well all day long. So if you have any questions, go ahead and call there. All right, Brooke, over to you.